Here we have a 2020 Peterbilt 348 cabin chassis. This is 350 horse with 1150 foot-pounds of torque. It has an Allison 3000 RDS transmission. This particular unit, the tank, is a Westmore Transtech line of tank, uh, the HCT model. It's a 4,500 gallon, three compartment. This particular unit is single equipped, unlike the one we previously covered. Uh, it is three compartments. It has one set of equipment, one pump, uh, one meter. It does have two hose reels, which we'll cover here in a minute. It's equipped with a manual manifold. These are uh, three inch uh, wet dry valves, uh, which enable you to open it up to circulate the product down to the pump. The pump is a black mirror pump. Uh, right here, you have a wet dry valve. Uh, this is put in here basically is your last line uh, to open to go down into the pump. It also provides from maintenance perspective, uh, if you're servicing the pump uh, with this close, you'll have very little drain to the pump. There's no other product that can get to the pump from the tank with this particular valve close. So when and if you ever have to service the pump, uh, it allows you to close that off and have minimal product to drain before you have to perform any service or anything on the pump. Again, the, the similar tank design that we've covered earlier today where we have the angle sill design with the two inch uh, neoprene rubber in between the sill uh, and the chassis frame. Piping is going through the sill down into uh, the manual manifold. So we'll go ahead and switch that off uh, as we move back here. Again, we have a 24 by 24 by 36 uh, double door aluminum toolbox. Uh, store the driver's fittings and various things in here. Again, you see, uh, for safety purposes, we have a fire extinguisher installed in the box. We have a turn signal mounted uh, for safety purposes on the front uh, of the curbside fender. Flip placards here located also on the fender where the diver will select uh, which product that he's currently hauling in the tank and associate it with uh, flipping the placards, uh, whether it be fuel, kerosene, or gasoline. They're all included in the flip placards. So we come around the back, again we have LED lights, stop turn and tails, as well as up top on the rear of the canopy, then we have LED backup lights. As you can see up at the top, this unit is equipped with a zone defense uh, backup camera with a uh, seven inch LCD color monitor located in the cab. Mainly uh, safety feature, uh, prevent unsafe backing, uh, and is really being used by a lot of customers today. Here on the back meter box, we have a light for the tag, which the tag goes right here. We have flip placard here on the rear bumper. Again, this is a 406 uh, aluminum bumper uh, with plates on the inside uh, of the bumper. Uh, the plates on the inside of the bumper are welded. Jeep style fenders, again on this truck. Flip placard holders on the fenders, just like the curbside. And then you have your turn signal here up on the front of the fender. Uh, we covered this earlier today, but this is the 120 gallon DEF tank uh, built inside the box. Uh, where you have your hose reel and all your different attachments and pump and everything. Here, as I illustrated before, you get a better shot of it from the top of the tank, but here's a removable lid here uh, that allows you service uh, the hose reel uh, that's inverted underneath the lid here, uh, underneath the rear canopy. So it's an easy unbolt uh, design, which allows you to service it and not have to lift the whole tank if you ever to make the substantial hose reel repair. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, we have aluminum channel uh, that's welded along the vapor line here. Basically, this tucks all your air line and electrical gun here neatly. Probe holder here, and then your 16-inch lid, and then your access to the product. Uh, what we're standing on here right now is the expanded metal uh, on the top of the tank. Uh, there are times where the top of the tank, if a driver needs to be up here to access or, or do anything, or even a repair for that matter, uh, it, it basically creates a non-slip service, which is certainly a safety feature. And again, it's easier to see from up here, but here is your overturn rail, uh, which also acts as a vapor tight rail uh, that runs down into the vapor recovery of the tank uh, for your bottom loading. But everything is nice and out of the way here, so if anybody does ever have to get up here, they're not walking and traipsing all over airlines or electrical. Certainly is beneficial in the winter because airlines can get brittle and will prevent them from cracking if you're walking all over them, being tucked up in the channel here.